Okay, okay. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Hello, guys. Nice to see you again. Welcome back to Living Through. I am Vincent. I'm Zhu Ying. Today, we are going to guide you around campus to find those hidden cafes. So right now, we're somewhere near Van Ren Canteen, and this is Du Feng Cafe. And up there, it is a treehouse-like cafe. It has a wonderful view. So let's go take a look right now. Just create an open atmosphere, and you're not just like other cafes that you can just stay inside. You can go outside and enjoy the view. Although this is a cafe, it also serves a wide variety of different types of food. So you have your meals, and you got coffee, you got cakes. So, and the price is really reasonable compared to the indoor and out outdoor space and the atmosphere here. You're really closer to nature outside, but also inside if you want to study. It's also really quiet, and it's a really friendly study environment. So, Zane and Sunny will be taking you to explore the next hidden cafe. Let's go. Thank you, Vincent. We'll take it from here. I'm Zane. And I'm Zhu Ying. Right now, we are in front of unique and hidden cafe named Yixiu Yi Cafe. It's just on an island in campus. This place is called He Tang, and He Tang is really a famous tourist spot, and it's just like a symbol of Tsinghua. If you take a look around the cafe, you can see there are a lot of big trees and right now it is summertime so the weather is just right. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. On the left side you can see there are a lot of elderly playing mahjong and just chatting about their daily lives. So this spot is perfect to just bring anyone you want, your friend, date, family, anyone you want to bring here and have a good time. As you can see the cafe is built on an eastern style look and because of that when you come here you often get an eastern vibe or you can experience the historical background from it. So, Juin, why don't we go in and take a look? Let's go take a look. Let's go. After staying here for a bit, I find that the tables in between are quite squeezed. I think it's best to bring your own pair of earphones so you have your own space. On the other hand, the view that it gives me from outdoors, I have a straight view of the nature. In my own take, I feel like it's a motivation for me to keep on studying. So it's a very good study place. And on the chef, there are some Tsinghua souvenirs, so you can bring them back. And there are also many books. So let's go to the next cafe. Alright, so back to you, Vincent. Thank you, Zane. And now we're back at Ye Jia Xuan Bookstore. And it's on the west side of the Wenzhen Library. And the entrance is there, so we have to go downstairs. Let's go have a tour of the beautiful garden. So we just came out of the bookstore and because there's a talk right now ongoing, so we're gonna sit here and do the review. Ye Jia Xuan has now transformed into a 24 hour bookstore so we can have some stuff here at night. And especially because it is really quiet inside, it's also near combined with the library. And so it's really quiet and when you go in, when we were inside, there was pretty much no other noises. It was just pure study, study space. 
But one thing you should have in mind is that there are limited seats in there. There's only one major uh, sharing table and also uh, a few seats near the aisles and shelves of books. So next up, we'll be going to Time Capsule Cafe and we'll leave it to Zane and Sunny. Hello guys! You may know the Career Development Center on my right and you may know the Number 7 Student Dormitory on my left. But you may don't know the Time Capsule Cafe in between them. That's right. You think you're taking a hard course here and studying at the University of Tsinghua, but you need to know more about the student life here. So behind us is a very unique and hidden cafe called the Time Capsule Cafe. It is nearby the Qingfen Canteen and Society Library is nearby right across. So are you guys thirsty? Come with us and have a drink. Okay, thank you Zane. So the last tour at Time Capsule Cafe rounds up our tour on hidden cafes. But there are also many other hidden cafes right here on Tsinghua campus. For example, Ziting Shu Ka or Shinyan Cafe. And there are also wonderful places waiting for you to explore. And it also rounds up the whole series for this semester. And it's very happy to meet you guys and guide you around Tsinghua University. And we are looking forward to seeing you next semester as well and taking you to know more about our Tsinghua University campus. And please don't forget to comment down below um, to let us know about anything you want to see and to hear from us. And we'll see you next semester. Bye bye! Bye bye! See you next time! First take. <laughs> One take. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're back at Ye Jia Xuan. And it's on the what? And it's on the what? And we'll leave it to Sunny and Zayn. Oh my. It's not working, right? Just say it. Just say it. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs>